Have you ever needed to share a Canva design with someone for feedback or collaboration, but you didn't want to upgrade to a Teams account or give them full access through your own Canva account? This can be a common challenge, especially when you only need limited collaboration on a specific project. Thankfully, Canva makes sharing easy without needing to upgrade to Teams, perfect for those times when you just need to share occasional access with a collaborator. A Teams plan can be great if you're managing a larger group with ongoing projects and if you want centralized control over designs and assets. However, if you're mainly working solo and only need to share specific designs for feedback or edits now and then, the sharing permissions option in Canva is a flexible and simple solution. To share a Canva design with custom permissions, start by opening your design and clicking on the share button in the top right corner. Then in this area called People with Access, you can enter the email address of the person you'd like to share the design with. Once you've added their email, you'll see a drop-down menu next to their name where you can choose the level of access you want to grant. Edit, comment, or view. After selecting the appropriate permission level, just click Send and the design will be shared with the permissions you've set. Or if you don't want to share a design with a specific person, you can also share a link to your design such that anyone with the link can access it. And again, you can specify the level of access that anyone using that link will have. Now let's look at when you might use each of these permissions. Imagine you're collaborating with a virtual assistant on a presentation about a new service package. You need them to help you tweak the layout and add additional content, so you'd give them edit access. This allows them to work on the design directly, adding elements, adjusting visuals, and making changes as needed. In another scenario, you may be working with a business consultant who is helping you refine the structure and focus of the same presentation. You want their feedback, but you don't want them changing the design. By giving them comment access, they can leave notes and suggestions on specific pages or components without altering any of the visuals. Once the presentation is finalized and ready to be shared with a client, you can provide view access. Let's say you have a proposal for a service package you're offering. They can review the pages to see the visuals and messaging, but won't be able to make changes or leave comments. This is ideal for a quick client review and approval. Once the collaboration is done, or if you no longer want to give access, it's easy to remove someone from a shared design. To do this, go back to the share button in your design and look under people with access. From there, you'll see a list of people you've shared the design with. Next to each name, there's an option to remove access entirely or change their permission level if needed. Just select remove and that person will no longer be able to access the design. Or if you shared a general collaboration link, you can remove access by resetting it to only you can access. This feature allows you to collaborate seamlessly and efficiently without needing to upgrade to a Teams account. Whether you need design help, content feedback, or just a simple review, Canva's sharing permissions gives you control over how others interact with your designs. If you haven't upgraded to Canva Pro yet, I encourage you to give it a try and see how Canva's premium features can help you design content more easily and efficiently. You can try Canva Pro for free at brendacadman.com forward slash pro.